The first dangerous personality is the narcissistic personality. In this video, we will talk about who are these narcissistic personalities, how can you identify them, where can you find them in your day-to-day -day life, and I'll share some examples from our history. And I'll end the video with some shocking facts. I almost guarantee you that there's at least one of those that you haven't heard about before and it's gonna blow your mind. Hi, my name is Fazia and I have two black belts, trained in seven martial arts, several certifications in psychology related fields. I have trained with law enforcement officers and learned from ex-FBI agents. So if you're new to this channel looking to become safe and empowered, I'd love to invite you to subscribe. Statistically, they tend to be male, though not always, and they have a very high regard for themselves along with a very high disregard for other people. It's this combination of I'm the only one that matters and you are worthless that makes them extremely dangerous. They only care about themselves, their needs and their priorities. They think that they deserve special treatment and privileges. Narcissists crave attention and although you and I might appreciate some positive attention, Narcissists will do anything to get that attention, to get that wealth, to get that title, to get that status symbol. And because they crave this fame, they will cheat, lie, plot to succeed. They'll take shortcuts, bend rules, violate boundaries. Nothing is unethical for them. Everything is justified as far as they get what they want. They don't care about anyone's feelings or how they get hurt. Or even if they say, oh, I care about you. No, they don't. Even if they apologize, they don't mean it. They're just saying whatever they need to, to get their way. They will never admit their mistakes or shortcomings. It's everyone else's fault. It's their mistake. They are stupid. And you're left wondering, where did I go wrong? You start doubting yourself and even believing their lies. So yes, narcissists do tend to gaslight people, making their victims believe that they are incorrect. They are overreacting and that Something is wrong with them. And they are very controlling. In a work situation, they may force you to do what they want. And in a domestic situation, they may have a tight hold on their finances. So if you're, let's say, a stay-at-home mom, you will have no idea how much money is in the bank and you will only get a certain amount of money to spend each month, no matter what the emergency. And because they are very intimidating and control their subjects through fear, most people are too scared to take any action against this narcissistic person. They will criticize you, yell at you, they will show no empathy or sympathy. Simply put, they just don't care. Not about you or anyone else, just about themselves. Narcissists cause an extremely high level of psychological damage. Unfortunately, they can be really hard to spot in the beginning stages of interaction because they may be intelligent, engaging, charismatic, and even successful. In a personal relationship, you are the trophy they need to win. So they will do anything to get you to like them, making you feel really special. But once they have won you, you will see their behavior change completely. They won't say anything nice about you anymore and nothing you do will ever satisfy them. They also cause a high level of physical damage where a coworker may throw things at you, grab your arm, block your doorway, physically push you back, or even grab your clothing or hijab. But unfortunately, if you report this person, you may get a no way or it won't happen again or don't air your dirty laundry speech. Most people will be shocked at your complaint and they will start making excuses for this narcissistic person because, well, most of the time, they behave okay or because they are the brains of the company and they know that that they are not going anywhere so let's talk about who are these people and where will you find them they can be your spouse your parent your teacher or a co-worker whom you closely work with they're often found in career positions where they can maintain power and control other people Think politicians who start wars, commit genocide, embezzle money, and become dictators. Some examples are Donald Trump, Senator John Edwards, Joseph Stalin, and Kim Jong II. And don't be mistaken, narcissistic personalities can also be found as a teacher in a classroom or a preacher in a church. Maharishi Mahesh Yogi is a Hindu priest, very famous in the West. He's a founder of Transcendental Meditation and was accused of molesting young boys and girls. There's a Wikipedia article titled Sexual Abuse by Yoga Gurus. 
There's another Wikipedia article titled Catholic Priests Convicted of Child Sexual Abuse, amongst who James Porter is the most famous Roman Catholic priest who admitted to molesting over a hundred children in three decades. And then you have Osama bin Laden. He actually is a special kind of narcissist known as a paranoid narcissistic personality. These are people who self-justified actions are born out of fear and distrust. Some classic examples are Unabomber Ted Kaczynski, a brilliant scientist who becomes recluse and because nobody's listening to him, he warns people of the threat of technology by sending bombs in mail packages. 2013 Boston Marathon bombers, KKK, Proud Boys are all examples of the paranoid narcissistic personalities. They are also often found in high level executive positions. They tend to be CEOs or founders of companies. Some examples here are Steve Jobs, Mark Zuckerberg, Elon Musk, Henry Ford, and Tony Hayward. And we will take a pause here because I can totally see that your jaw has dropped to the floor. These five names deserve an explanation, so let's start at the top of the list. Steve Jobs was known to be a ruthless, controlling person, called his employees idiots, bullied them, used intimidation tactics. There's a Psychology Today article titled, Was Steve Jobs' Narcissism Justified? Forbes 2 has an article titled, The Top 25 Most Narcissistic CEOs in Tech. Which brings us to Mark Zuckerberg. When Facebook's whistleblower Francis Haugen testified in Congress that Facebook prioritizes profits over safety, that Instagram was killing teenagers, Zuckerberg's response was, that doesn't make any sense. And that's just not true. As you can see, these highlight the top three characteristics of a narcissistic personality, which are wanting success no matter what the cost, high disregard for other people, you die, you die, what do I care, and never admitting their mistake. Instead saying that the other person or other people are wrong without any proof. You don't have any proof against Frances. If you think she's wrong, why don't you produce evidence that states otherwise? Nope, I don't need to do that because I am a narcissist. Now we move on to Elon Musk. I feel like people know enough about his eccentricities that we can just move on from this one. Next up is Henry Ford. There's a documentary called Henry Ford on Netflix, which shows that Henry Ford forced his employees, who came from many parts of Europe, to speak like Americans, dress like Americans, and adopt the religion of Americans. Very disturbing documentary. But on the bright side, there's a very fascinating documentary called The Men Who Built America. Ooh, I love this one. I remember watching this and re-watching this with a bag of popcorn, wondering when the next plot was going to unfold. There was so much drama, tension, suspense. It was thrilling, entertaining, exciting. I loved it. Until I realized that this was all real. And finally, Tony Hayward, who caused the largest marine oil spill in the history where 11 people died. It was an environmental disaster of historic proportions, to which he said this. We're sorry for the massive disruption it's caused to their lives. And, you know, we're, there's no one who wants this thing over more than I do. You know, I'd like my life back. Really? You want your life back? What about the people who actually died and cannot get their life back? As you can see, he only cares about himself, a classic narcissistic trait. In the next video, I'm going to share with you the classic mistakes, the common mistakes we make in identifying a narcissistic personality and how can we defend ourselves from them. Until then.